That's all. The Warriors are down by five to the Pelicans. This is playoff time. Cuts it to two. Next possession, Warriors down three. Steph sends him to OT. Should have been a four-point play. Here's a tie game with a minute left. The stat said he was 0 for 12 on go-ahead shots with less than 45 seconds left in the playoffs. This was just over 45 seconds. The stat also doesn't count free throw attempts. This was a three-point play to put him up by one with 20 seconds left. Not counted. So let's say the real number is like three for 15 or something like that. Obviously still bad, and I'm not saying Steph is as clutch as someone like Damian Lillard, but to say he's not clutch, I think is a little crazy. Here's a play where the Warriors are up by two with 30 seconds left, and Steph's gonna put the game away. I think not losing the game is just as important as winning the game. Same situation here. Warriors up two with 30 seconds left, and he's gonna put a dagger in it. I sound like a Warriors fan right now, but the way powerful he would tell his alarm clock when it was time to get up he was a behemoth of a man that the league was not ready for game on the line this dude has played with clippers for eight years you already know that fate is fresh everyone knows he dunked over a kia optima but he took on dozens of souls can i make a suggestion young fella don't jump he will thinks it's all fun and games but this a grown man he was handing out taste tests of his gym shorts like it was a free sample at costco look at this man Whee! sit down little boy don't do it to him blake don't don't do it to him blake DON'T DO IT TO A PLAY! Keeping a game of Prime James Harden, you might as well have marked in 40 next to his name before the game even started. This man could just flat out do it. A young beard was going crazy in OKC. The stubble showed plenty of signs for growth. Them handles weak, boy. I got you on lock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Owie. You snap your back. This is what you get for being named Wesley. Are you James? Knock it down, son. Guarding this man in a Houston jersey was harder than ever. He was out in Atlanta turning defenders to little Baby. He was freestyling handles to put defenders in the deep end. With this kind of separation, him and Cantor were not close friends. Tonight, 17. DeRozan runs by, hammers it. Over Gobert. Big play. The bigger guys on him, stronger guys on him, no matter what. He You're just seems to have no problem. Yeah. What a move by Rubio. He beats Bryant off the dribble. And we'll hand on to Rubio. Rubio late shot clock. Didn't have time for that pass, but they got it away. Slips it away. Thad Young sticking with the play. And able to get the land. How about Ricky Rubio? Oh, oh my goodness. Puts it between the legs of the two. LeBron, the stutter step by Leonard in the corner for Green. Great hesitation, and that's the result. Madison Vaughn was out of bounds. Shot clock down to eight. Green, three, good foul, count it. Send him to the strike. A pretty three. Wide open, Green, triple. Each team has made eight threes tonight. Green, he's gone four of four this quarter. Five NBA fans out there who only know about Jeff Teague from his podcast clips. Telling funny stories was not the only thing this guy was a lead at. Prime Jeff Teague was a doll. This man had some of the nastiest handles in the league. Jeffrey killed way too many people to just be considered a young thug. Watching Jeff Teague film is like watching Nickelodeon with all these cartoon moves. The man only spoke slime language. Um, sir, you need to move. Cause it's not He's always had that freakish defensive motor, and while he's not going to clamp someone for an entire game, he has spurts where he will lock down a superstar, like they can go nowhere.
If I'm a contender, I want him on my team, even if I play him for five minutes a game, just to get in someone's head. He doesn't need heavy minutes to be effective. If I had to pick my favorite Pat Bev moment, it's got to be against Lonzo Ball during his debut with the Lakers. This was some nasty stuff, full court pressing, chirping the entire time. The big baller was no match for Mr. 94 feet, just knocks him over for no reason. Poor dude was just trying to hoop, but Pat Bev's making him smell what kind of product he put in his hair. Look at this. Give me that ball. I think Lonzo had like one three-pointer, but it was murder the entire night. I mean, this was just personal beef.